Baby. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Dequintus Lamar. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I would say the best thing about my city is we breathe music. It runs through our veins. My stage name is Rich Homie Quan. It came in my closet when I was in 11th grade. But when I say rich, rich as in spirit, homie as in brother. I'm calling because he's the only one of me. and be no more of me. Yeah, right, right now, man, me, Rich Homie Quan, finna head to the studio. Now, right, we're in Atlanta, Georgia, my hometown. You know what I mean? Go ahead and chop it up with Karen for a little while, man. As we make our way into this room, as you can see, it's a TIG studio. You know what I mean? TIG thinks it's a game of entertainment. Now we got a real big on the black floor. You know what I mean? Really like the room to clean, man, before you go into the studio. We're on the way back to the studio right now, to the booth, you know, to one of the rooms in here. I wore the process of recording my last mixtape was really almost like telling my story. And I wanted to get fans more acquainted with who Rich Homie Coin is and where he wants to go and what really I want out of music. I would say I'm about 60% done with my album. You know, the other 40%, I think it comes when, when I know I have a release date. Or even a title, I've yet to even come up with a title for it right now. And I still want more features. So yeah, we got Drake on there, um, of course Thug, you know, Boosie on there. So I've been around the world a couple of times now. It's time for people to start hearing that as well as seeing it. Yeah, this is my, this is one of my cars. This is my everyday little car, you know what I'm saying? It's Rich Homie Edition. It's BMW, but it's Rich Homie Edition. It's money over here, what you talk, clown? Play crazy while you're high, how you knock down? No Under the Influence of Music Tour was my first tour. You feel me? I learned stuff from everyone, not even from, from Jeezy, from Wiz, from I Am Shoes, from Sage to Gemini, from Matt Wise, from Ty Dolla Sign, from DJ Drummer. It showed me new ways to approach the crowd because it's different from a club scene right now. That experience, one I'll never forget. It was my first tour ever. And to be on a major tour with those type of artists, it's real big. The new crowd, the new faces. I know half of them didn't know me, but I'm pretty sure when I got off stage, they went to go see who Rich Homie Corn was. And that's the whole point about, it, about all of it. Long as that, you know what I mean? You tell your story, you make it believable. I don't feel as if you could lose. Not as many people who know me now knew me then. And like you say, it get bigger and bigger every day. And sometimes, like my dad tell me all the time, like Corn. You're not just coin no more. Just because you want, you have a great mind frame. I'm saying everybody don't want to see you win. Like, yeah, I was walking them out in the, for the ring, not knowing that you got haters in here, somebody who want to fight you. But at the same time, you got to defend yourself. Not, not saying I, I want people to know that I'm, I'm into violence, but at the same time, you got to be a man. You know, you don't know. You could be, I could be going to check the mailbox and somebody throw something at you just to be funny. You know what I mean? And that's just real. So like, I just pray about it and take it a day at a time. Coming back to the My Nigga song, being real, I never saw myself making a platinum record. I'm being real, or being a part of a platinum record. Never, a day in my life. Let alone have my own gold record, selling 500,000 copies. New artists, people not buying music how they used to. But if you can get them to buy some music, obviously you're doing something right. Right now, we're on the street I grew up on, you feel me? And if we look to my left right here, this is my dad and mother's house. I mean, I would come over here every weekend, you know, I would play any hop which is a baseball game in the middle of the concrete right here every weekend. I love coming over here though. And everybody always say, man, you know, uh, who, I think my dad grew up in this house. He grew up in the same house. I never stayed here. I stayed with my other grandmother, which is two houses up from the same as that house. Well, I would say my rap career started probably out of shyness at first, because I was so afraid to let everyone know I was a rapper. I, I mean, I, I really wasn't into rapping. I was into baseball more. So if you ask me, I thought I was going to be a baseball player, MLB star, to be honest. But I always had a way with words. I love reading in school. I love reading, I love reading. I went to McNair High School, which is not far from around here. But when I really did get focused on music, I took it serious, you know, I took it very serious. Man, I thought, I went to the same middle school. You know what I'm saying? I was in eighth grade, he was in the sixth. So even with the rap, with the music thing, I had been following him. So once I got my foot in the door, it's like I seen him at the studio one day. I'm like, bro, you know I've really been following you for a long time. I really think we collab, man. It'd be bigger than life. I can help you some ways, and I know you can help me in some ways. And after we just really like sat down, talked every day on the phone. It's deep, it's deeper than rap. A real, it's a real friendship. It's my brother. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying, the social network, they can misconstrue things. But at the same time, like me as an artist, I never let that deteriorate my mind or get to me because you're gonna think what you wanna think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we do have our own slang. We do talk talk <clears throat> a certain way. But anyone who knows me as well as knows him, certain stuff should never cross your mind. But at the same time, you're opinionated to say whatever you want to say. Yeah, well, to be honest, man, Bird reached out 
probably like two years ago. He was like, nephew, I really would uh, love to meet you one day. And whoop, whoop, whoop. Make a long story short, we lost contact. Like I said, I was always talking to Thug. So Thug uh, goes down to see Bird. They, they uh, establish a relationship. First thing I know, uh, I met Bird for the first time at, a, at Dark Studio. When I met him, we exchanged numbers or whatnot. I, I talked to Bird, man, twice a day, every day. I was like, Bird, man, just real genuine. Real, real genuine, man. Uh, right now, we're headed to Fly Kicks, uh, one of the hottest urban fashion store in Atlanta, on 275 Peter Street. You dig what I'm saying? He heated, he feels some type of way. Don't know how to say, I ain't the hardest man working. I've always been uh, into fashion highly. Been one of them, I won best dress in high school. One of the big person that reached out was Jeezy. You know, uh, he brought my name up to uh, Jonathan Coon did, who really, uh, you know, does the clothing line. And like the whole clothing line, really like, man, I express myself with their clothes lines, like music. Worn on me. He sell a lot of colors, a lot of colors to uh, represent pain. You know, they have different colors to represent pain. It's a whole new scheme. We, we revamped the whole line. You know, I want to be like more of a cultural thing. You feel me? Make you feel some type of way. That's the CEO of the label, his store and all that. You dig what I'm saying? All that, man. All that CEO TIG. I signed Rich Homie Kwan to Things and Game Records in July of 2012. He was actually the first artist that signed to the label. How I met Quan was one day I came to my store, Fly Kicks, which is a popular streetwear boutique in Atlanta. And a song was playing when I walked in. And my little brother Jay was working at the store at the time. Immediately when I walked in, I asked him, I was like, what is this playing? He was like, that's Rich Homie Quan." So I'm like, who is that? So we met up that night um, and we sat down and we just talked and he was like, you know, just smiling, like, you know, just excited. So it took us about maybe like another three weeks to a month, and he ended up signing. So the new song, you can just hear a lot more excitement, a little more fun. I'm about new things I've been around, I'm being around. After every song I make, I try to make it better than my next, my last song. You know, so the new music, man, you can just expect corn being corn. I still haven't went away from my, what got me here. I still, I'm still, you know, I still want the fans to feel as if they're Rich Homie telling their story when they're rapping my songs. As you can see, we're wrapping it up. I am Rich Homie Quan. I've showed you where I come from, where I'm going. I've showed you about my clothing line. Welcome to my neighborhood, and shout out to Silver TV. Rich Homie, baby. Let's